Now, when people say growing cannabis, a lot of people think of the plant, the soil, the water, the fertilizer, the substrate, lighting, and all of that. However, we also, particularly for indoor growing, need to be aware of the importance of HVAC jobs. So this Tobacco University video is going to cover the importance and some of the details associated with an HVAC job if you're considering that and merging that with the cannabis industry. All right, let's get into HVAC jobs in the cannabis industry. So first off, the general job description is that it performed skilled uh, mechanical maintenance duties in the inspection, repair, installation, and alteration of heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration systems and related equipment and facilities perform preventative maintenance and routine servicing of that equipment. So there's a lot there, but for indoor facilities where you're really creating a specialized indoor growing environment, this is a very important job because we're trying to maintain those consistent conditions as a result made to heat one day, cool another day, add humidity, reduce humidity. So there's a lot going on here. Now the day-to-day -day activities of someone specializing in HVAC and kind of in the cannabis industry is to inspect, repair, and modify HVAC equipment. That's your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning equipment. Uh, that can refer to condensers and chillers and pumps, uh, valves. Uh, there's, so there's a lot going on even in a small cannabis growing facility. You want to conduct regular preventive maintenance inspections. That could be changing filters out, for example, uh, inspecting units as far as boilers go, or gas or electric operated air conditioning systems, as well as evaporative coolers. The goal of the HVAC person is to repair or replace defective parts and or units and equipment in their controls, and that can be thermostats, uh, fan controls, heat exchangers, safety valves, and a whole bunch of other things as well. They operate a variety of hand and power tools, welding torch, vacuum pump, testing equipment uh, to ensure that all the parts and tools inventory is present and working properly. Now, what are some qualities if you're looking at pursuing this as a potential career? Well, work is performed while standing, sitting, or walking, so being physically fit is important. It also requires the ability to communicate effectively using speech, vision, as well as hearing. It requires the use of hands and simple grasping of fine manipulations. It requires bending, squatting, crawling, climbing, and reaching. So there's a lot of physical um, labor involved here, installing all this. No, he's not in the easiest part. You have to be on your side through things like that. It requires the ability to lift, carry, push, or pull medium weights up to 75 pounds. It requires activities involved being around uh, moving machinery, exposure to marked changes in temperature and humidity, exposure to dust, fumes, as well as gases. Typically, high school diploma or GED certificate is required. Two years documentation of HVAC journeyman level operation maintenance and repair experience in the HVAC and refrigeration trade is also highly sought after. So what's the connection to the cannabis industry? Well, the cannabis industry is widely considered to be the fastest growing industry and is heavily reliant on HVAC technicians. Typically, HVAC techs will have little to no knowledge of what it takes to grow cannabis, and that can be perfectly fine. Uh, there is a need for technicians who specialize in various areas of HVAC, but understand the needs to create a healthy cannabis growing environment, which creates a new area of study in the HVAC cannabis space. And if you do have a, some sort of background in plants, having the HVAC background as well can really make you a potentially a highly sought after future employee. 